Alright, what is up everybody? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And in this I got some Battlefield 4 gameplay. <laughs> what is going on YouTube man, the assist man. I'm coming back at you guys with another video. Inside of this video man, I'm bringing you guys some Battlefield 4 gameplay. Yeah man, some Battlefield 4. I haven't played Battlefield 4 in so long, but I'll get to that in a second. But man, what happened to my man Legend of Thunder, man? I used to thoroughly enjoy Thunder 402's videos, man. You know, that's why I did that intro. You know, that's his intro all the time to all his videos, man. And it seems like as soon as, like, you know, he's a Call of Duty YouTuber, man. It seems like all of a sudden Infinite Warfare came out. The game sucks so bad. Not even Thunder. Not even my man Legend of Thunder 402 is uploading anymore. I mean, he barely uploads. I think, I think he's uploaded, like, a total of no BS, man. Like, three videos in the past month. It's insane, man. It's like not even not even old school Call of Duty veterans even want to even talk about Call of Duty anymore, man. And that's what I brought up in a video about a week ago on my channel when I talked about is Call of Duty dead because like nobody is even uploading it anymore who used to be uploading gameplays of it all the time. So, man, shout out to my man Legend of Thunder, man. I hope he's doing good. He's one of the only YouTubers that has kept it real for a, for a really, really long time. Even though I don't agree with everything he does or says, for the most part, I do. And he has my respect, man. But with that being said, man, I haven't played Battlefield 4 in so long. And if you've been watching the gameplay thus far, you have probably noticed something. I haven't even died yet, man. I'm still flawless right now, but that's not going to last for too much longer because I'm going to die here soon. I'm just letting you know it's going to happen. But yeah, man, I've literally not played Battlefield 4. I haven't even turned on the game. I haven't even played it at all in about two months. Two months. So what you're seeing right now is my first gameplay of Battlefield 4 in like two months. I thought I was going to get on, man, and be actually really, really rusty. Because as a matter of fact, the only game that I've even been playing theoretically for like the past two weeks now has been Overwatch. I really haven't, playing, haven't been playing any first-person shooter games at all. All I've been playing is Overwatch for the most part. And I'm about to be playing that Dead Rising 4 tomorrow, man. So I'm excited about that, and I will be live streaming that as well. But, you know, I, th I thought it was only fitting to go back and play some Battlefield, man, because the topic of this video is about Battlefield, and it has some things that I want to address. Now, first of all, before I get into that topic, I do want to say to you guys, thank you guys very, very much, man, for watching the video I put out the other day talking about I Need Help. I hope it was funny to you guys. I hope it was laughable. And most importantly, like I said in the video, man, I hope it was entertaining. The main purpose of that video, man, is that I am a firm believer that if you subscribe to somebody's channel, that you enjoy their content and that you want to watch what they put out. Now, most of the time, I put out good videos, like I said in that video, and they go unwatched. A lot of you guys seem to not want to watch my videos unless they have something to do with me complaining. So am I just like one of the world's best complainers of all time? Do you guys just really enjoy me complaining and talking shit about stuff? Because if that's what you guys really enjoy, hey, man, I'll just be known as that guy. And, you know, I'll just keep putting up videos of me complaining about shit. If that's what you guys enjoy, man, let me know. I don't have a problem with it. I just want to know if that's what you guys enjoy watching. Because like I said in that video, it seems that when I put up a video about any anything else that it gets like half the views or less of a standard video I'd put out you know saying Call of Duty sucks or Infinite Warfare sucks or this sucks in Call of Duty and stuff like that so just let me know but a lot of you guys over the past couple months man you've been asking me about Battlefield 1 you guys been like man bring us some Battlefield 1 gameplay when are you going to buy Battlefield 1? When are you going to upload Battlefield 1? I heard it so many times. Every time I make a video, somebody leaves a comment on one of my videos. And they say, fuck this game, play some Battlefield 1. And it got like a whole bunch of thumbs up. Like, you guys all want me to play Battlefield 1. But there's a reason I have not bought Battlefield 1 yet. And that's what I want to tell you guys and talk about more or less in this video. You see... I knew all along that this holiday season, man, for games was going to be packed. I knew there was going to be a lot of shit that I wanted to play, a lot of games that I wanted to review. I knew I was still going to want to play Overwatch. I'm addicted to Overwatch. It's my favorite game, man. You know, I really, really do love that game, and I thoroughly enjoy playing it. But I knew that, you know, Infinite Warfare was going to be coming out, and I knew I had to buy that game to review it, to play it, to see how the campaign was, to see how the zombies was, and I knew I was probably going to enjoy the zombies. 
And I knew Battlefield 1 was coming out as well, and I knew I wanted to buy that game to play it and review it as well and see how it was, see if it's a game that I would actually enjoy. Because I did play the Battlefield um, 1 gameplay. I did play the beta, okay? The beta wasn't great to me at all. It kind of like, you know, left a bad taste in my mouth and almost made me be like, eh, maybe this is not really a day one purchase for me. But I still did want to get it. But then I had a whole plan all this entire time, and this that's what, that's what I'm basically going to talk about in this video more or less for the most of the time going by, is that I had a plan the entire time. I had a plot, okay? So my, my, uh, I guess you could say my plan or what I thought was going to happen. My scheme was me thinking that, okay, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to get Infinite Warfare and that comes out a little bit before Battlefield does. So I'm going to buy Infinite Warfare. I know I'm going to probably say, I probably know I'm probably going to think that Infinite Warfare multiplayer sucks. So I knew, I, I knew all ahead that I was buying Infinite Warfare. I was going to play it. I was going to review it. But I knew all along, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to buy this game. The multiplayer is probably going to suck. The campaign is probably going to be, you know, pretty cool, but it's a one-time thing. I don't go back and just replay campaigns. It's a one-time thing to me. The zombies I thought would be really, really, really fun, but I'd probably lose interest in it in about a month because how many times can you constantly go back and play the same map over and over and over and over again? kind of just gets bored, you know? It just gets like, eh, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm bored of it now, you know? So I knew that going into it. I was thinking to myself, okay, Am I going to buy a whole bunch of games at once and force myself to play them, alternate them, you know, because I still got to get Overwatch in in between? Or am I, am I going to spend the time playing one game? And then I was thinking about to the time when Battlefield 4 came out. And I knew how bad Battlefield 4's release was. For those of you guys who bought Battlefield 4 when it first came out, I know you probably remember Battlefield 4's release. It was terrible, man. It was terrible. It had so many issues. The first, like, two months of the game came out. Man, it had massive server issues, massive issues with everything. It was pretty much almost unplayable for the first two months. And that's one of the reasons I stopped playing Battlefield 1, or I'm sorry, Battlefield 4 for so long, and then went back to it years later. So I was thinking to myself, okay, I knew Infinite Warfare was probably going to suck. I knew I'd probably get about a month and a half of gameplay out of it. And then, since I'm not going to be playing it anymore, I was saying, well, that's when I'll start playing Battlefield. But see, I knew if I waited, I knew if I would have waited to actually buy Battlefield 1 around Black Friday time, that it was going to be cheaper. I inevitably knew it. So my plan was, okay, I'll buy Infinite Warfare, I'll review it, I'll talk shit about it, I'll play zombies, I'm sure it's going to be good. And it was. Every, every premonition... I had about Infinite Warfare came true. I knew the multiplayer was going to be horrendous. I knew the campaign would be solid, um, but it wouldn't keep my attention after I played through it. I knew Zombies in Space Line was going to be excellent and be really, really good, but I knew that I was going to get bored of that map after about a month. So now Call of Duty Infinite Warfare has been out for about a month. I haven't even really touched it now, man, like in almost the past two weeks. I haven't even played it at all. All I've been playing was Overwatch. So I knew going into that that this was going to happen, and it came true. So then what happened was Black Friday, a whole bunch of retailers, including Best Buy, they had Battlefield 1 on sale for $29.99, man, $29.99. So I was like, Tch. my plan worked out perfectly. I'm done with Infinite Warfare. I don't want to play that garbage ass shit anymore. And now I could spend adequate time actually buying Battlefield, playing Battlefield 1, reviewing it and getting it in and not have to worry about me worrying about Infinite Warfare. And look at that. My plan came true. On Thursday on Thanksgiving, I went on BestBuy.com and I actually did purchase Battlefield 1. The only thing was I had to ship to my house because I don't believe in supporting retailers that are open on Thanksgiving. And I ain't trying to go to none of these crazy ass stores and deal with these crazy ass people to go shopping on retail day and all that crap. So I'm just like, yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to support anybody on Thanksgiving. I think everybody should be closed. I don't support retailers that are open on Thanksgiving. And I'm not the type of person to go on Black Friday shop, man. So I was like, I'm going to buy it online. So I went on BestBuy.com on Thanksgiving. Given. I bought it for $29.99, but the only thing it says it was not gonna be lit, it was not gonna be delivered to me till December 8th. And I was like, damn, December 8th. That's a long time. That's like, you know, damn near two weeks away, but I can wait. You know, I can wait. So, yes, for those of you guys who have been wondering, that is the reason why I have not bought Battlefield 1 yet. I knew that, you know, I would spend some solid time playing Infinite Warfare. I knew it was going to suck. I knew if I waited about a month, I'd be able to get the game for cheaper. And look at this. Instead of me having to spend $60 on it, I got it for $29.99, brand new sealed. I should have it in a couple of days. And when I do have the game, I will be putting up my review of it. Uh, telling you guys if I like it or not, telling you guys how I feel about the gameplay, and you will see Battlefield 1 gameplays on my channel going forward. 
Um, and you know, that is if I like the game. But even if I don't like the game, I'm sure I'm going to make videos of it complaining about it. But I don't think that's going to happen. I I've been hearing a lot of positive stuff about Battlefield 1. Don't get me wrong. I've been hearing a lot of negative stuff as well. But I guess I'll have to see first-hand base. See if the game actually keeps my attention. And to see if the game keeps my attention for as long as I hope it does. So anyway, man, that's the reason why I did not buy Battlefield 1 yet. But theoretically, I actually have bought it. I just don't have it yet. And it seems like I had a plan all along and that plan worked. My plan was for information. Infinite Warfare to probably fail and me to buy Battlefield 1 a month after Infinite Warfare fails for half the price and psh, look at that. It all came true. I'm blessed, man. So anyway, man, once again, man, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos if you are subscribed to me, man. And that video I made yesterday is just to engage you guys. If you are subscribed to me, I would only I would only think that you're subscribed to me because you like me. You want to watch my videos, so please watch my videos. And when you do watch my videos, by you leaving a thumbs up like on the videos, let me know that you watched them from beginning to end, that you enjoyed it, that I know you enjoyed the content, man. If you leave a comment, then obviously I'll know you even enjoyed the content more, and you'll have a com and you'll have a comment about the video. So I did. Ho I do hope you guys did enjoy this video, man, and look forward to Battlefield One gameplays on my channel within the new uh, next week or two. So anyway, man, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up like button, man. I always appreciate you guys, man. Anyway, YouTube. Until next time. This this is the assist man and I am out.